guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys are well it's been a while again i don't actually know which video i'm uploading first like you should have seen a vlog from paris before this um and i'm also filming a clothing haul again whether that will go up before or after look forward to that i will link it on screen somewhere at the end if you are interested it's going to be like another collective clothing haul things i've bought recently things that i've been sent from some brands just like clothing items that i'm absolutely loving but today's video is going to be a kind of get ready with me updated makeup routine products that i'm loving but you actually see it on my face this time i haven't done a makeup video in forever um for those who really enjoy those i am sorry but a lot of people kind of message saying oh i'd really like to see that again um, over on my Instagram. If you aren't following me, go and follow me on Instagram. You won't regret it. Um, but yeah, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well, having a lovely day, whatever time it is, whatever you're up to. Thanks for clicking on this video. If you want to see how I achieved this makeup look today, then just keep on watching. Hello. So, oh god, this feels so weird. I haven't actually filmed a video like this in quite some time currently half 10 in the morning um i'm off today i've got a few things to do later but i've decided that i really need to get my shit together and just film some more because i really miss it and i think when i don't do it for so long i really like fall out of a routine and i don't quite know like what i'm doing um, so please bear with me but yeah today we're just going to kind of be doing a every day maybe like a little bit more eyeshadow than I usually do but I haven't done a makeup video in forever and that's scary I know I don't do a lot of makeup anyway like I do a lot more uh, like fashion and lifestyle like vlog stuff but a lot of people did like my makeup videos before and a lot of people have said you're going to make any more so I've got a lot of new products than what I would have been using last year. Honestly, I think it's been over like six, seven months since I actually did um, something makeup related. So yeah, I'll talk you through what products I can um, and just show you what I'm pretty much doing in my makeup routine recently. So I really hope you guys enjoy. So I'm just going to moisturise first using the Ola Henriksen Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. This is lovely. I think if you watched my last video, which yes, was a little while ago, um, this I got in a set from Boots, which was lovely. I think I paid like £30 and it came with this cream, the eye cream and a serum. But this smells incredible and it just really makes my skin feel lovely, really hydrated and fresh. I switch between a lot of like different moisturisers sometimes because my skin's quite normal and it's not that sensitive. Um, I can use a couple of different things and because obviously I work in House of Fraser, uh, if anything new comes out like we get samples of stuff or obviously if any of the girls recommend anything we can try it out which is really cool. Now I'm using a little mini version of the Benefit That Gal Primer. This is really really lovely, it helps to brighten up the skin. How use this yet yeah it helps to brighten up the skin it's got glycerin in it so it kind of feels slightly tacky i don't know if you guys remember you see that it's got like a pinky tint to it um but it doesn't actually leave your skin feeling pink if you guys remember when there was a huge thing about using the nivea men's aftershave balm as a primer um, that's because it had glycerin in it and it makes your skin feel tacky and helps makeup stick. I didn't mind it, didn't find it did loads, but this has, um, doesn't have the tackiness to it, but the glycerin does help keep your makeup on as a primer and obviously brightens up your skin and it just gives it a bit of hydration as well because it's more like a gel kind of consistency. I think I'm going to kind of do like eyes before the rest of my skin but before I do that I'm gonna pop this on this is a newfound favorite of mine I who did I see raving about this mainly Ellie Darby I think um she's been using a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products recently and this was one that I was very intrigued in so I picked this up to try first and then maybe I'll try some other bits but this is the Hollywood flawless filter uh all the writing's rubbed off already I've had it a couple of weeks superstar youth glow something like that but basically it's like 
it gives a bit of colour and coverage, but it's got like a really gorgeous radiant glow to it. Do you mind? I got mine in number four, which is medium, but it basically has this big doe foot thing that I just swipe all over my face. So this is something you could wear on its own maybe in the summer, but I find maybe it's a little bit too radiant. I literally just do that. Um, it's a little bit dark for me, kind of colour wise when I haven't got tan, because my tan's kind of fading at the moment. Um, but because it's not like proper full coverage like a foundation is, it's absolutely fine to just use and buff in. So I'm just going to use this buffing brush, which is, I want to say it's a Beauty Bay brush in the buff. This is really lovely, but it's also dirty now. Just evenly kind of blending it out and you see that my skin is just glowing. It's fab. I think it's probably a bit too much radiance for me on its own like I'm not quite sure how I'd make this work if I didn't put anything on top maybe like a little bit of concealer and tiny bit of powder in areas because I know I'm under a ring light right now so obviously it's like enhancing it but if you do get in light it is gonna look very radiant ow burnt myself on um my crimper things the other day and it's really hurting but while that is on my skin I think I'm gonna do like my eyes I haven't done more than just like an orangey brown in the crease in such a long time so I feel like I want to do something slightly different um so I'm going to just prime my eyes with a little bit of concealer this is the benefit cakeless concealer in shade three I'm just going to pop some of this on my eyelids um this is actually from Primark I had a duo set of this one and a purple one and they're actually really good I really like these very similar to the real techniques they're really really squishy and bouncy i think it soaks up a little bit more product but sometimes i don't mind that but just blend in that concealer onto my lid just to create a bit of a blank canvas there and then to set my lid i'm gonna go in with the benefit Hello Happy Velvet Powder Foundation in number 4. So I have this in shade 4 for when I'm not really tanned. And then I've got shade 5 for when I've got a tan. You can put this over your foundation. You can put it on its own. Whatever you want. To it. I just think it's lovely. I think it's a great invention. I was never really one for like a powder that had colour and coverage to it. I would always use translucent powder even if it's a pressed one but obviously since using this on a lot of customers i have fallen in love myself God, we are very close right now but you can see my skin a lot more <laughs> i look like a glowing disco ball wow i also look like an egg right what should we start with so i think i'm going to use the beauty bay evolve palette which is really really pretty I think these palettes are amazing. I love the colours in here. They're all nice and warm, but you've got some pops of colour as well. So I'm probably just going to take... Um, do I want like a maybe peachier pinky eye today? Transition colour here. And it's more of like a ready pinky peach, I guess. I don't tend to use the bases just because I've used the... Um concealer and powder but we'll just see how this goes that was the zoeva 228 luxe crease brush now i'm going in with a zoeva 227 luxe soft definer which is like a little bit more squished tapered and i think i'm gonna take do i want it pinky or brownie I'm going to take the crease colour here and just deepen that up from the outer corner slightly to the middle through the crease, I think. Oh, wow, that is pigmented. I'd probably say that's like a bit 
much but I can go in and clean that up afterwards and when I think I'm going to take one more colour being hmm, probably the one right under it just in the darker technically like the liner just taking a little bit of that right by the outer corner and the lower lash line just smoking that in a kind of circle and then up into the crease a little bit so again with my benefit concealer i'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and use um yeah just use this just to kind of create just a quick kind of like that pretty much oh i might do a mix of these two here so obviously bronzy more like on the outer corner blending in and then the lighter one in the inner corner i'm just using the fluffier end just to place that over where the concealer is And then I'm just gonna gonna sweep the edge of it a little bit. Like that. Ish. That'll do. And then I'm feeling a black liner. Oh, right, I'm gonna tidy up this wing and put mascara and lashes on and then we'll be back. Cause I I fucked up. I am back. And I have kind of roughly filled in my brows as well using a little bit of Cabrow, which then I stopped using because I haven't used the pomade in ages. This is just like a mini version of the Benefit Cabrow. I use shade 3. So I used that kind of like to underline it a little bit. And then I decided this isn't working. So I went back to my trusty old Precisely My Brow Pencil in 3.5 to fill the rest of it in. Then I used a little bit of Gimme Brow in shade 4 because I don't like shade 3 in Gimme Brow. It's not the same, it's quite ashy, um, whereas this is a warmer brown. And then of course the 24 hour brow setter clear brow gel just to set them in place. So one of my favourite foundations at the moment, but it is too dark for me unless I've just fake tanned, is the NARS Longwear Radiant, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Stromboli. I love this, um, but it is too dark right now. Another one that I've been absolutely loving is the Hourglass Stick Vanish Foundation in a Warm Ivory. Um, and another one that is quite nice actually, which I might have to mix some of, is the new Estee Lauder um, Hydrating Foundation. I don't have a bottle of it or anything, but I've got two little samples that Holly gave me. I've got the shade Sand and Dawn. I think I'm gonna maybe see what colour sand is I might mix that with a little bit of I don't know whether you can see a little bit of the NARS one and it's probably going to be a bit too dark but I'll just blend it down my neck so I'm going to mix a little bit of this I do need to get another colour in this I've been looking at either Deauville or um, Gobi I think which are lighter shades but I need to actually match them on my face so yeah, that is that little concoction there. And then I'm just going to lighten it up with a bit of concealer because it probably will be too dark for me. But that's okay. Right, I'm just going to blend this in. I just really love anything hydrating, anything warm undertones, more like yellowy. Anything pink on my skin just doesn't look right. Cause even when I'm pale I've still got like a slightly natural olivey undertone and when I'm tanned and especially fake tan on me always goes like a warmer colour. Now that's done I'm just going to go over with my sponge just to kind of press it in and get rid of any excess product. And then I think I'm going to go in with my Benefit concealer. Another concealer that that I do love, which is a lot cheaper. This concealer is 19.50. Um, is the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer. This one is a little bit lighter. I got it in the shade C2. Um, 
but I think that the Benefit one gives a little bit more coverage. And this is just going to help to lighten up. I feel like you do have to work slightly fast with this just because it does dry down a little bit matte um, but it is a full coverage 24 hour wear waterproof concealer which is obviously amazing and I'm just going to keep that concentrated right in that area to lift. Got it out anyway, I haven't done it in a while. I want to try and do a bit of cream contour before. This is the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick. Really nice creamy. So I'm just going to pop this. And just blend that in and I find that it builds up really nicely it's so easy to blend out and it's really natural but just gives it a really nice color and base to then your powder and I'm just gonna set a few areas in my face like under my eyes forehead chin with my YSL souffle de Cla, uh powder in the shade 2 this has got like a slight radiance to it, I think it's absolutely stunning. It's like a slightly pinkier tone, um, but it doesn't necessarily come out like that. But I'm just going to kind of press that under my eye. Oh, that's too much. But I'm going to use my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Luminous Bronze Light. It is stunning. It has got quite a lot of like shimmer. And like a nice sheen to it but this is just going to be like an all over bronze and I tend to keep this slightly like higher up my cheek and then I like to go in with just a slightly like smaller brush and go in with hula or something or something that's a bit more matte just kind of more in the hollows of my cheekbones so I'm just going in with Hoola by Benefit and just deepening that up more in the hollows I'm going to go in with some blusher this is Becca Mineral Blush in Flower Child I've used this quite a few times before um, I've got about three favourite blushes at the moment. I like this one, I like NARS Orgasm and Milani Luminoso, which is a classic. And I do start mainly on apples of the cheeks really lightly, but then I do like to bring it back. Why? That looks a little bit crazy. Right, lower lash mascara. I don't tend to wear too much highlight. I'm going to put a little bit on, but not as much as I used to, just because my skin is already still quite glowy. And then what I'm going to do is add a little bit of the Benefit Roller Eye Bright Pencil in my lower lash line, just to give it a bit of brightness. That is the eyes. I'm just going to add a tiny bit of highlighter using Benefit Cookie. This one is really pretty. Very intense though, so you don't need a lot. Just kind of here on my nose. Tip of the nose, just above the brow a tiny bit. Is it gone? I think I'm going to use either MAC Strip Down Lip Liner or the NYX Lip Liner in Nude Truffle, which is a bit of a darker browny one, and then MAC Myth Lipstick, and I think we'll go with Holly Boone's HMB Cosmetics Can't Deal Gloss, so this kind of combo. Um, I'll go and do this. I'm also going to use Setting Spray, a bit of all nighter, uh, do my hair and then I'll be back to show you the finished look. I am back 
and looking a little bit more put together and much more blonder. I think when my hair's scraped back, you can just kind of see my roots. Um, and then when I put my extensions in, obviously, I tell look quite different. And obviously, I've got my lip combo. Com what? Lip combo on. Um, like I said, I went with the Mac strip down, Mac Myth and HMB Cosmetics Can't Deal Gloss. These are amazing. But that is going to go ahead and complete today's video. I really hope you enjoyed um, and you were interested in seeing what makeup products I'm using recently and just, I don't know, just sitting down and having a chat with me. I've really, really missed it and actually I quite enjoyed just doing like a full face of makeup today because I obviously wear makeup pretty much every day for work and I do get a little bit bored and I don't really have the time to kind of sit down, play around with some products maybe I haven't used in a while. I just kind of chuck it on and go um, in the mornings and then top it up while I'm in work if I need to. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed this. I love how it came out. You can still see my skin is nice and glowy. Um, and I just, I'm obsessed with all the products that I used today. Like I said, I will link everything in the description below that I used. Uh, if you have any questions on anything that maybe I didn't answer or you can't see, just leave it in the comments below. Um, if you did enjoy, please smash that thumbs up button. It would mean the absolute world to me. And of course, if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, please, please, please subscribe. We are so close to 3,000 um, that I think I want to consistently upload more. Um, and hopefully we will get there soon. And also, if you aren't following me on Instagram, um, I'm very close to 5,000 followers over on there, which is pretty cool. And I've been doing some collabs with some really cool brands recently, which is exciting. So if you do want to see more like outfit posts and maybe makeup posts for the future, go and give me a little follow over there. I will link my Instagram in the description anyway. Always there. Uh, yeah. That is pretty much it from me guys. Like I said, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye!